Hello and welcome to this quick start video on the Red Dog R1 Stabilizer. In this short video, we'll walk you through the Benro Red Dog mobile application, calibrating your gimbal, adjusting parameter settings, and show you how it can help you create dynamic imagery using your Red Dog Stabilizer. If this is your first time using the app, you will have to perform an initial calibration on your gimbal. First, make sure your camera is balanced. For detailed instructions on how to balance your R1 gimbal, please refer to our balancing video. Let's get started. In the App Store, download the Benro Red Dog app to your mobile device. To enable Bluetooth mode on your R1 stabilizer, hold down the M on button for five seconds until you see a flashing blue light. Please note, once your gimbal is connected to your app, the motor will not work. Launch the Benro Red Dog application. The first screen you will see is the selection screen for selecting which stabilizer device you will be using. Once selected, press Enter Device. Next, you will be guided through the Quick Start Guide on mounting your camera, balancing your gimbal, and other important instructions for setting up your device. Once you reach the end of the Quick Start Guide, press the Connect Device button. Reboot your gimbal to get it back into a shooting mode. The next screen you will see is the Strength Selection screen. If you don't see this screen right away, you can find it by navigating to the Settings menu. The Strength Selection allows you to switch between different control strengths. Select the best setting based on the weight of the camera you're using. Selecting the highest strength without feeling any motor vibration will provide the best stabilization. If you feel too much vibration while moving your gimbal, the motors will be working too hard. You can test this by moving your gimbal horizontally while feeling for any vibration, and adjust your strength accordingly. Next, you will see what devices are available to select from. Once selected, you will see several functions to choose from within the control panel. Before we dive into this, let's make sure our firmware is up to date. Press the gear icon in the top left corner and press Firmware Info. Here you can see what version you are running. By pressing Upgrade, you can either update your firmware or it will inform you that your firmware is up to date. Let's go to the main app interface by pressing the back button twice. Now let's navigate to the Parameter Setting tab on the bottom right and scroll to the bottom of the menu. Now let's calibrate the drift by pressing Drift Calibration. For best results, drift calibration can be achieved by placing your R1 in a horizontal position laying on a tabletop. Be sure nothing moves during calibration. You can also achieve this by standing up your R1 with the tripod. You'll get a notification to place the gimbal on a flat surface and be sure it is in Bluetooth mode. Once you've done this, press Sure to start the calibration. Your R1 will now go through a short calibration process. Your app will notify you when successfully completed. Please note, if your gimbal is not properly balanced, your calibration may fail. Ensure your R1 is correctly balanced and try again. Now let's proceed with level calibration. This process will go through six facets of your R1's rotations. For level calibration, your R1 needs to be in a standing position on a flat surface. You may remove the cable connected to your camera for this step. If you're using a longer lens, it may obstruct the camera rotation during the calibration. It's best to use a shorter lens or remove the longer lens, calibrate, and rebalance your gimbal after completed level calibration. Once completed, you will get a notification if it was successful. If you are unsuccessful, double check your balance or if there is an obstruction and try again. After calibrating your gimbal, reboot your R1. Your R1 gimbal has three specific modes you can shoot with. You can navigate through these modes by pushing down on the M on button on your R1 and you will see the appropriate colors associated with each mode. Horizontal follow mode, red, provides smooth pans based on where you move the camera horizontally. Universal follow mode, pink, provides smooth camera movements toward the direction you're aiming. Locked down mode, blue, keeps the camera locked on a subject while moving the gimbal. And by using the directional button on your R1, in conjunction with these modes, you can flawlessly control your movements. You can also snap photographs, 
record video, or zoom in from your R1 as well. Now within the app, let's navigate to the Control Panel tab to see the available remote functions. The joystick allows you to make remote pan or tilt movements depending on which mode your R1 is in. The plus or minus buttons allow you to adjust your zoom. The photo button, when your camera is in photo mode, you can focus by holding the button and release to snap a photograph. When your camera is in video mode, by pressing the video button in the control panel, you can start recording. Enabling the roll following while the R1 is in universal follow mode will allow the camera to follow your rotational hand movements. Disabling this feature will keep your horizon line level. In the last tab, you will find the overall parameter settings. The first setting you will see is power supply to camera. If you have the USB cable connected to your camera from your gimbal, your camera will charge from your gimbal's battery supply. The other settings allow you to adjust the zoom speed of your remote zoom function, the tracking strength of your pan and tilts, lower the level to weak for slower steady pans and tilt movements. You would increase it to strong for whip pans and faster camera movements. The next parameters you can adjust are the horizontal and vertical area settings. These parameters set the sensitivity of the horizontal and vertical movements. Setting these parameters to min will make your pans and tilts extremely sensitive to hand motions. Setting them to max would decrease the sensitivity. And finally, you have your drift and level calibration settings, which we've already discussed. Certain shooting situations can affect the stabilization of your R1. Using these calibration functions will help in readjusting the R1's sensors. Don't forget to reboot your device after calibrating. Next to the Control Panel tab on the bottom of the screen is the Motion Time Lapse tab. This feature allows you to create a time lapse with dynamic motion. With the Motion Path feature, you can create custom motions for your time lapse. The parameters you can set are the shot interval, how many seconds between shots, the total photo count, the length of your exposure, and starting angle. Pressing Confirm starts the time lapse. The next feature within the app is the Panorama feature, which allows you to set the number of rows and columns in your panorama, as well as the horizontal and vertical adjustment based on the environment you are shooting. And pressing Confirm begins the panorama. If you click on the gear icon on the top left corner of the app, you will be navigated to another settings menu. This menu has Bluetooth settings, which enables you to connect to your Red Dog device, Quick Start Guide, which will bring you back to the guide from when you first opened the app, Strength Selection, which you initially set but can readjust if needed, Firmware Info, which will tell you if your firmware is up to date and enables you to download the latest update. Now you know all you need to know about the Benro Red Dog mobile app. So get out there and shoot something spectacular!